What's up, Internet? We have a second trailer for Cruella that came out over a week ago. But, you know, we're excited for this movie, so we're going to react to it anyway. My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarice. We get Nerdy Nightly. And we thought we'd share it with you. Yeah. That is right. As we are recording this video, I just, I, I have to mention, we are 34 subscribers away from 1,000, which would put us in the YouTube Partner Program. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, but you keep coming back for these trailer reactions, maybe, maybe just hit that little subscription button. Sorry to throw this in at the beginning, but like, we're so close. I know, we're so close. <laughs> we're so close. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Are you, <laughs> we are, we're both excited for this Corolla movie. It seems yeah. very different for these live-action Disney remakes. Yeah, like a... It's not just the same thing made live action. Mm -hmm. It seems like they've, you know, put some depth into it and really made um, the character of Cruella more than just, like, an evil, like, dog murderer. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm wild, excited. Wild that that is an animated Disney movie. Yeah. That they were like, oh, yeah, it's going to be about a bunch of dogs and this woman and her two idiot friends who want to turn Kill them into coats. Yep. Yep, it's, you know... All right, let's jump into this. Let's... <laughs> God, animated movies are weird. Yeah. All right. Where is this? Boom. Boom. Let me give you some advice. You can't care about anyone else. Everyone else is an obstacle. You care what an obstacle wants or feels you're dead. If I'd cared about anyone or thing, I might have died. You have the talent. Whether you have the killer instinct is the big question. Hmm. She thought right. she owned everyone. It's foolish. Unhinged. Or you're fired. <gasps> Why are you speaking? I think you've licked me. But there's something about poetic justice that's just so poetic. You won't admit you love me. And so, how do you have a light? To know you always tell me. So, get her. This doesn't have to be a scene. It really, really does. Can I to remind you all that I'm doing this in heels? Oops. What was your name? Cruella. If you can love your mind. <laughs> Make trouble. You in? I do love trouble. Fat little. You have a bit of an extreme side. Yes, darling. And what fun that is. She stole my dogs. <laughs> I guess you must hate her. She has made it me or her. And I choose me. Don't worry, there's lots more bad things coming. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um. Perhaps. Okay. Wow. Oh, no, I don't want that to play. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I, I mean, sometimes we usually, sometimes we talk during the trailers because we're, like, offering insight or, like, yeah, saying what yeah. we're feeling. This, this, I, 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 this, this movie is so surprising to me. Yeah. Each time a new trailer comes out, I'm so consistently surprised at the direction it seems to be going that I don't I'm like taken aback a little bit by it. Yeah. Um which is exciting. Like I I, I love <clears throat> this this feels like the first big swing in these Disney live action remakes since mm -hmm. maybe the first Maleficent, which even still wasn't like It was just <clears throat> yeah, I it, it, it was a bigger swing than, you know, just making the lions and the Lion King look real. Yeah, and yeah. Like... It, it was the first. That was the first one that was like, we're gonna do a different plot. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one is like, we're gonna do a different plot and a different tone and a different audience and a different like. It, and and like yeah. it really, this genuinely feels like a really cool, like, Oscar buzzy kind of movie. Yeah, that it does. just happens to have the iconography of Cruella. Yeah, because it definitely does not. It's it's mm -hmm. not. The story that we are familiar with in any mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. it, it, it feels kind of like Devil Wears Prada inspired, which is fun. Oh, 100%. Um, I, yeah. I do enjoy that. And Emma Thompson looks like she's having a blast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's one of my favorite people ever. Yeah. I, I, I got to work with her years ago on a Sweeney, a Todd production. And mm-hmm. she is the kindest, sweetest, most amazing human I've ever met. Yeah. Um, and like just just I, I i truly 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 adore her and yeah. the, the the impact that she incredible. left on me uh in that production was was massive mm-hmm. um and just seeing her get to have this kind of fun and 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 her and emma stone playing against each other the two yeah. emmas really go they're going at it you know what i mean they're at mm-hmm. each other's throats in a way that i'm like oh oh and watching emma stone beat up all those bodyguards with her cane was great. i was like yeah i'm in yeah that was that was premium content right there yeah there, there's been a lot of like um I feel like TikTok has brought up this, like, new wave of talking about, like, um, like, bisexualism. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, her, Emma Stone's team around her seem to be, like, the bisexuals of the movie. Like, that guy that she meets, I was like, oh, that's, that's, like, the most bisexual man I've ever seen in a yeah, movie ever. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's very nice. I feel represented. That's, that's very nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, uh, really, really, wow, that was cool. This movie looks, this, the movie looks bonkers. It looks awesome. I, like, here's the thing. It, it might be terrible. There is that possibility, like, just, like, because of the craziness of it. Um, so I'm, like, <clears throat> hesitant to, like, get my hopes up, but I, I, I actually, I'm kind of excited. I don't think it can be terrible. No? No, I think that if it's not good, it is because it just, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. But I think that just based on the trailers alone and, and, and what it, what they seem to be trying to do with this movie, it comes across as the kind of movie that is such a big swing that it's either going to be brilliant or not work. But even if it doesn't work, it is still going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? It like And because there are a lot of movies that like they don't really work, but like you can tell that like, God, they went for something and yeah. that's what makes them interesting. Yep. Um, even if the, it doesn't quite land. Mm-hmm. This movie feels like it, 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 it might end up there. I, I don't know. I, I feel like... We the, can't know until the, we see The quality movie. of the talent involved. I mean, Mark it's Strong great. showed up for a second there. Like, you have a really, really solid cast. Yeah. You have a really strong vision. It, it, it is very clear that there is like a single-minded vision for what this is going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone feels very committed to it. So... I don't know. I, I have really high hopes for this, actually. Okay. Um, you know, I, I haven't really loved a lot of the live-action remakes. Um, I really love the Cinderella that Kenneth Branagh did. Cinderella uh, I think was... that movie's just gorgeous. Yeah, um, Cinderella was great, and the only other one that was pretty good was Maleficent. One. The first Maleficent's pretty good. One. Just one. Um, I like... I, I, there's, there's, there's a lot about Beauty and the Beast that I enjoy. Sure, I um, just... But like, the movie as a whole doesn't quite work. Yeah, I won't throw it I'm on. trying to think, are there any... Because the, Lion King... Lion King is, like... Lion King is exactly uh, garbage fire. the middle of the road for me. Well, no, it's my probably like least favorite movie that has come out in the past like ten years. Wow. Okay, it's not that for me. I think it's just boring. I, I think it didn't. I. I. I the, here's the thing. I, I think that like on a second viewing, it's not great. On a first viewing, I was so impressed by the technical um, achievement that was put placed before me. Um, yeah. And then when I look at it as a movie later, I'm like, it's 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 just not as good as the original Lion King. Yeah, I almost left the theater. But so. the technical achievement of it, I was so... Like, the first time I saw it in IMAX, I was so impressed by it. Mm-hmm. And, like, I marveled at the quality of this. Like, I was... I genuinely was taken aback by it. Yeah, it's like, good for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> no, I the whole thing is impressive the first time. It's it continues to step up its game throughout the movie up until the end when you're like this is a CGI creation that looks like a genuinely real, like it looks from from a from a technical achievement standpoint I think The Lion King is a wildly impressive movie. I I I, I because it, okay. as far as what it does that's not for, that does not make it a good movie. <laughs> <coughs> no, but that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, it is a technical marvel. Yeah. Oh, I like the Jungle Book movie. I think the Jungle yeah, Book movie is good. Fine. I actually, I think that movie's a lot of fun. I, um, yeah. I didn't love it, but I did enjoy it. It, it was. Are there any like live action remakes? I'm not thinking of. Uh, I haven't seen Aladdin, so I can't comment on that one. Mm-mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. 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 Mm-hmm. That one and made a lot. Of we didn't money, see though. Mulan, so we can't comment on that one. Yeah. Either. Um. <laughs> but whatever. We're gonna watch Cruella. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully, we'll see this in theaters. Yeah. Because these images look. So Stunning. That, that was a very long tangent there. I'm so sorry. 
Um, but this is what happens when the trailer's over a week old, and I feel like I can talk about whatever I want, because no one's gonna watch this video anyway. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't like the video, dislike and leave mean comments, because the algorithm god is hungry, and we must feed her. Mm -hmm. Um, anything else? No, we both stream over on Twitch. Um, <clears> as <throat> usual, <throat> you can follow him at twitch.tv slash nerdynightly, and mm -hmm. I'm over at twitch.tv slash clarshtakari. Also, huge, 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 if you catch this the day that it goes up, tonight, Saturday... Uh, what is it? The April, what day is it today? The 16th? The 17th. Saturday, April 17th, the day this video goes live. Um, I'm going to be on twitch.tv slash Azurabee. That's A-Z-U-R-A-B-E-E. -E. Uh, Alex Damon from Star Wars Explained, the huge YouTube channel, is going to be on that with me. Uh, we're going to be playing some improv games uh, called Ultimate Werewolf. So if you want to come see me uh, try and eat Alex Damon, please come over to twitch.tv slash Azurabee tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. It is going to be an absolute blast, and I'm a little starstruck and very excited to get to interact with him. So don't tell him I said that. This is going to be on the internet forever. This is public. That's <laughs> embarrassing. And as always, my name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarice. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye, guys. Bye.